As a teenager, he provided his services during the 1965 Indo-Pak War. He enthusiastically assisted the soldiers at the railway stations during their journey. During his late teenage years, he was deeply influenced by the gypsy lifestyle. He kept traveling alone to unknown places. He even spent time with monks in the Himalayas. He was an extremely brave student in his school days. He had to face many ordeals, but he never gave in. Once he brought home a baby crocodile. They were like chameleons. He would dig them out and put them in a vessel filled with water at home. He possesses a flair for photography and poetry. He writes poetry in his mother tongue, Gujarati. In his school days, he had a keen desire to participate in plays and dramas. As a teenager, he performed in a fundraising drama. He has hosted Indian flag in Lal Chowk, in Kashmir when a threat was spread that, those who will be seen with Indian flag will be beheaded. He has done this when he was not even the CM of Gujarat. He undertook a three-month course in the United States. There he studied image management and public relations. These courses eventually helped him refine his personality and impact as a great leader in India. He has more than 58 million followers on Twitter. After the current USA President Trump, he is the most followed leader in the world. Mr. Shinzo Arbe, the Japanese Prime Minister follows only 18 people on Twitter and guess what, Mr. Modi is one of them. Mr. Shinzo Arbe, the Prime Minister of Japan, is a highly nationalistic person. He is known to tweet always in Japanese only. But on May 20, 2014, he tweeted in English for the very first time just to congratulate Mr. Modi. He is highly cautious of his dressing style. His clothes are always creaseless. This further enhances his aura and command as a leader of the nation. Throughout his service as the Chief Minister of Gujarat, he didn't take any leave. He propagates the similar philosophy to all his subordinates till date. He has traveled about 3 lakh kilometers across India in 8 months, during his massive election campaign in 2014, which is equivalent to 7 times the circumference of Earth. He sold tea, for many years before becoming active in politics. He is a very good poet and writes in his mother tongue Gujarati, and he is fluent in Hindi and English. He is considered as India's most techno-savvy leader. He remains active on social media platforms including Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, LinkedIn, SoundCloud, Weibo and other forums. He is an early riser and has been maintaining a steady wake-up time of 5 a.m. regardless of the season or any other factor. When his mother advised him not to take bribe, when he became the chief minister of Gujarat for the first time, his mother said, Son, never take bribe. Born on the 17th of September 1950, he is the first ever prime minister to be born in the independent India. He was never an MLA nor contested in elections before becoming chief minister of Gujarat in 2002, despite being in the BJP from 1985. He is the first Indian PM to visit Israel, Mongolia and first Indian PM to address Australian and Nepal Parliament. He received highest civilian honors from Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, and Palestine, received UN Champion of Earth Award and Seoul Peace Prize. He is a religious person and fasts for the entire nine days during the Navratri celebration. In the evening he just breaks his fast by eating just one fruit of his choice and then resumes the fast for next day. He is a spiritual person. He lives a healthy and simple life. He doesn't believe in any kind of drug use to relieve stress or entertain himself. Also, he follows a strict vegetarian diet and practices yoga every morning without skipping. It might appear as a shock but because the US government thought he was linked to Gujarat riots, they rejected his visa for over 9 years. After he became PM, things changed. 
after becoming PM, he was invited over to the United States. You must think that our he lives a grand life and so does his family and relatives. But the truth is the exact opposite. He never shared his political and government residence with anyone, even when he was a CM. Now that he a PM, he still stays alone and doesn't share his residence with family. Not even his mother. Every day he reaches his office at sharp 9 am and begins his official tasks. He spends the next hour talking to his minister and taking every detail of what is going on and what are the plans of the day. Thanks for watching, please, like, share, and, comment. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel.